A lot of people have been on social media talking about the wave back behind it, and the good news is we'll follow that one too. Yeah. But early forecast models showing it doing the same thing, almost identically following Aaron's path, which is always good news. These are the ones that we love to track, the ones that stay out over the open water. And again, there, there's going to be impacts, not for us here in Tampa, but all along the East Coast. So it did weaken a little bit. It went through what is called an eyewall replacement cycle throughout Sunday. And again, Saturday, we saw it go from Friday afternoon to Saturday afternoon just exploded into a cat five and now cat four 140 mile per hour winds central pressure did come down just a little bit more to 935 than it was just a couple of hours ago but it's moving to the west northwest at about 10 miles an hour and the track again has the consensus of models have been really good on this one. It's wobbled back and forth just a little bit east to west. But again, this is the reason why we have a cone and not a single line. But as you can see, here is Bermuda and here is the North Carolina coast. So you see stay, staying well away from us and pushing its way up. And again, the consistency in the models is why we have such high confidence in this one, not making too big of a shift. Look at the individual forecast models. And again, there is a little bit of a spread there, but not too much coming. You can get those that come close to the coast of the Carolinas. And that's why we do have mandatory evacuations right now of the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Watch what happens up the coast. We're talking about anywhere from Palm Beach all the way through Jacksonville, Savannah, eight, nine foot waves. And again, this is how far offshore there's Myrtle Beach up to seven and look at the outer banks there 15 19 feet. So again, that's why they have the mandatory evacuations there, and this is going to be the impacts that they see not even a big rainmaker on shore. All the rain is off to the east northeast as they typically are. Uh, with these systems moving their way to the north. We also have this is the wave I was telling you about. We'll watch this one so 50% potential for tropical development might get a depression the second half, maybe closer to the end of the week. But this one is battling dry air. The same thing that happened to Aaron, why it took so long for it to make its way to hurricane strength and expecting the same out of this one as well.